Hey everybody, I'm Shush. You heard of ChatGPT and how it is changing software testing. But is it really true or just a hype? In this video, we will explore its potential by attempting to build a Cypress automation project from scratch only using ChatGPT4. This video is part of our newsletter Software Testing Today. If you want to stay updated on the latest industry trends, make sure to subscribe for free using the link below. All subscribers will receive a complimentary ebook on AI testing. All right, let's give it a try. For this video, I'm using ChatGPT4's web browsing model, so I expect that ChatGPT can fill the missing information with the data from the internet. Let's start with the first prompt. My first prompt is, I want to build a Cypress web automation project using Cypress and JavaScript. Could you please guide me through the process from the installation to writing the first test case? I don't know why, but every time I write a prompt, I ask it nicely. It is hard not to say please. With this prompt, I expect that ChatGPT will give me step-by-step -step instructions for the project. All right. Here we can see that it starts with pre-installations, after that, installation steps, and finally, writing the first test step. So far, it looks good. First, we need Node.js and npm installed on our machines. Let's check if they are installed. Uh, I open the terminal and type node-v. Okay, I have Node.js installed, uh, version 19 and uh, npm-v. Also, npm is installed on my computer. If it is not installed for you, you can use an additional prompt for the initial installation step. Let's continue with the installation part. First, we need to create a project directory. Again, let's open the terminal. I will create the project under the documents folder. I use mkdir Cypress project. So, after the command, I created a folder named Cypress project to use. It's an empty project. Let's proceed with the next step. Now, we need to initialize a Node.js project. I prefer to do it in Visual Studio Code, so we can see the folders after the command. Let's open Visual Studio Code, click the open button, go to the folder where you created the project, and open it. As you can see, we have an empty project. Inside Visual Studio Code, we can open the terminal via the terminal menu at the top, or you can also use the shortcut. Let's check what the next command is for the installation. Our next command is npm init-y. This will initialize any project. After this command, a package.json file is automatically created in the root of the project. Let's proceed with the next line. We can proceed with the Cypress installation. For that, we can use the npm install Cypress command. OK, after this command, we now have a node modules folder and package log.json file created in the root of the project. So far, we have completed all the installation steps. In the writing your first test section, the first line says that we can create our first test under the Cypress integration folder. Here now we have a problem. We installed Cypress, but we didn't run any configuration yet. So we don't have a Cypress folder in our project. It means that we can follow the next step. Let's write one more prompt and ask ChatGPT how we can solve this. So the next prompt is, I don't have the Cypress integration folder. I only have node modules and package.json file. Let's see how ChatGPT can help us. After we mention our problem, ChatGPT understood it and now recommends that we run Cypress for the initial setup which is an essential step for the installation. Let's copy the next line and run it under our project. With the npx cypress open command, 
he opened the Cypress UI to initialize a project. In this stage, again, we don't know how to proceed. Let's check the answer again if it explains which option we need to select to proceed. Here we don't see an explanation. Let's write one more prompt. Maybe we can get a proper answer this time. My prompt is I run npx Cypress open and it shows me two options end-to-end -end testing and component testing. Which one should I choose? Now ChatGPT explains what end-to-end -end testing is and what component testing is. It also recommends uh, that we proceed with end-to-end -end testing. But here it seems like it over explains the concepts. One of the annoying parts with ChatGPT is that it usually over explains things. I asked a simple question to direct me and it explained the full concept before giving me the answer. Alright, let's go back to the Cypress UI and proceed with choosing end-to-end -end testing. Here we have browser selections. I will choose Chrome. Let's click on create new spec and from here we can create an example test for our project. Let's go back to our project to check the structure again. Now we received the Cypress folder. Under Cypress we have three more folders, end-to-end, -end, fixtures and the third is support. But still we don't have the integration folder under our project. Let's write one more prompt to ask if our project structure is correct and how we can proceed. So my next prompt is, I completed the setup, but still don't have the Cypress integration folder. I have Cypress end-to-end. -end. Can you check if it's correct? I use ChatGPT in browser mode. So this time I explicitly ask it to check this information online to give me an answer. After my prompt, it starts to use the internet search function. Okay, after this prompt, finally we receive the correct answer. So Cypress has changed its default directory for test files to Cypress end-to-end -end from Cypress integration. For me, it's a bit surprising that initially we received incorrect information even though we used the browsing mode. Once we asked it explicitly to browse it, afterward it could give us the correct information. Ok, we can write our tests under the end-to-end -end folder. Let's create a new test under the folder. I click on end-to-end -to -end and create a new file. Under the file, we can write our first test given by ChatGPT. After any code changes, we need to save them to proceed. You can save them via the top menu, File Save, or you can also use the shortcut for it. Let's check the Cypress runner if you will see the new test there. If you open the Cypress UI runner, we can't see our test there. There must be something wrong. Let's ask ChatGPT how we can solve it. So this time, my prompt is, I create the sample spec.js file, but it is not shown in the Cypress runner. I can only see spec.ci.js file. Can you search for what can be the issue? Again, I ask it to search it online. Otherwise, it will be impossible to solve it. After the prompt, it uh, performs a search to find the solution. OK, we received a new solution. So this is a configuration issue. And ChatGPT recommends that we change the project configuration file. We need to add the test file line into our configuration. Let's give it a try. I will copy it and paste it into my config file. Let's save it and rerun the Cypress UI. After that, we can see the new error. It seems like our pattern is not correct. Let's ask ChatGPT what is wrong and how we can solve it. So I will give my uh, configuration file to ChatGPT and ask it to add the line correctly. I'm not so experienced with uh, Cypress, so maybe I made some mistakes here. OK, now it explains that uh, we tried to add it under the incorrect file. 
In our project, we have a cypress-config.js file instead of cypress.config. Let's update our file to see if it will be fixed. After the changes, let's run the Cypress UI again. Here we still have the same problem. ChatGPT couldn't help us to solve it. Let's change the file format a bit. Maybe it could help. Uh, nope, it's still not working. Let's reward our changes. This can be either a problem with Cypress or ChatGPT, but we still have the problem. Let's rename our new tests like the sample one. So I will add that CY to the file name. After that, let's reopen the runner. Now we can see our test listed under the specs. So definitely we had a problem with the configuration, but we couldn't solve it via ChatGPT commands. Okay, at least we have our first test listed, so we can proceed with it. If we click on it, we can see that our first test is running. Until here, we had many pains initializing the project. I think the main problem is that ChatGPT's data is from November 2021. In the technology field, things can change very quickly. Since Cypress has changed a lot and ChatGPT was not able to catch up. Even though we used the browsing mode, we received some not up-to-date information. So without any prior knowledge, I believe it wouldn't be easy to start a project just using ChatGPT. Okay, now I want to test a different website named Automation Store. Automation Store is a website to practice test automation. Let's write tests for it. Firstly, I want to open the website. Then I want to click on the search dialog on the top right and search for the keyword perfume. Let's write a new prompt to ask ChatGPT to help us write this test. So our next prompt is, I want to write an automation test for the automationteststore.com website. Here are the steps. Firstly, go to the website. After that, click on the search box on the top right corner. Search perfume and click enter. All right, let's check the response. In the initial stage, we had some problems, but now it seems like we received the proper response. It seems like if we ask more detailed questions, ChatGPT can give better answers. Here we can see the requested code and also explanations for each line. First, we start with describe. It groups the tests. After that, we have IT keywords which is a function for defining the test. And after that, we use Cypress functions to perform some actions. Let's use the code and see if it will work. I will paste it under the test file. After the changes, we again need to save it. So step one is to visit the website. Step two is to click on the search box. And step three is to search for perfume. I'm pretty happy with the prompt result. Each line is explained well. Let's run the test to see if it will work. I will open the Cypress render again and click on the spec to run it. Okay, our test was successful. We opened the website, performed the search, and we can see the output. It is quite impressive that it worked on the first try. Let's try to run it again. We visited the web page and performed the search again. Here, I also got pretty impressed that ChatGPT gave us the correct locator for this page. I'm not sure how that happened. Maybe someone else used this website and ChatGPT got trained with it, or it used the browsing mode. We completed our first test task in around 15 minutes. So what do you think about it? Was it easy? or hard to follow ChatGPT to create an automation project. It was quite an experience for me, that's for sure. You can check the newsletter to read my detailed opinion about it and what were the main problems and benefits. You can find the link for the newsletter in the comment section. All right.
That's it for the video. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed the journey with ChatGPT.